Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Rachel from Happily Ever After, etc. And I'm back with another garden project. So, Rachel and I went to the store for pumpkins and we found balloon flowers. Yeah, oh, very successful um, balloon flower trip. I've been meaning to get some of these. I loved them as a little kid. I was telling Rachel, balloon flowers and snapdragons I thought were su super fun. I think most kids like anything they can play with. So either way, I've been really wanting some of these. I don't know why I haven't planted any in my garden up till now. I think just kind of they're everywhere here. They're in all the stores. They're very standard. And so I just haven't really grabbed any, but they were on the clearance rack. So I went ahead and I grabbed five. The tag say these are a full sun, up to six hours. And other thing that I've seen, we've planted these, my mom's planted these for years, shows they're typically front of the border type plants. They get maybe eight to 10 inches high. And then sometimes the flowers send up really tall stalks. And the tag says they get 18 to 24 inches high. I don't know if that's true or not. My mom says sometimes the flower stalks get that tall, but that the actual leaf canopy typically stays really short and mounding. So we're gonna plant some of these at the front of the border. They're supposed to spread 18 to 24 inches wide as well. They are perennials, so planting them in the fall, they should get nice and established and come and bloom for us really pretty next year. I have five of them, so we're gonna plant three right along the front. Hopefully they will come and bloom. This zinnia self-seeded and I just let it go, but I have a little hydrangea bush here. It is a bloom crush, bloom, summer crush. I was like, that's the wrong name. <laughs> and so it's a pretty small hydrangea. It gets to be about two, three, three feet tall and wide. So this will be a nice front layer in front of the hydrangea. And then I have some dark red Gerber daisies down here that will, they should come back if they're happy. They're more of a tender perennial here, where if we have a really hard winter, they won't come back. If we have a mild winter, they will. So we're gonna put three of these right along the front. They will grow in in front of those two things, as well as my tree stump here, and should give us a really pretty pop of blue. And then I've got a little spot down in front of the oak leaf hydrangea, where I think we're gonna put the other two. But we're not doing anything special today. My lobelia, you saw me plant those this year. Um, they did wonderful. They bloomed their little heads off all spring, all summer, but the heat, heat, heat at the end of July, beginning of August, took them out. They are like straw now. So we're gonna go ahead and replace them with our perennial balloon flowers. I also think I've got a bunch of really pretty little blue and white muscari spring bulbs. I think I'll plant those a different day all around these balloon flowers. These only bloom in the summer, since they are perennial, they only bloom one time, other than if they get sporadic blooms throughout the rest of the season. So putting in some spring bulbs around them should give us color most of the year. Let's go ahead and get started because we have a very exciting nail appointment to get to. And I will probably break multiple nails doing this just because we're getting our nails done later today. How it always goes. They're kind of pretty right up until I go to the nail salon. All right. You want to go ahead and dig out the, the dead plants. dirt out of there. I 
normally put fertilizer in the bottom of these holes, but since it is fall and these things are about to go dormant for the season, I don't want to force a lot of unnatural growth. So we will go ahead and fertilize them with the rest of the perennials next spring instead. Reciprocating pot saw to cut the stump out or the root out, but if it's too big, I think it's a huge that wouldn't be worth it. So I think this is a little bit to the side of the Yeah. And as long as we can get it in the hole, it will kind of grow around, you know. Love girls, see what you think. I know that Xenia is like way in the way. Do I need to do the auger thing more? Maybe. Maybe. It's really hard to tell sometimes. enough for government work as mom would say. Go ahead down and do the two in the other spot. We're gonna have to decide if we only have two down there if they're gonna go side by side or front to back. The space front to back probably makes more sense but I hate doing flowers like that. much easier with no roots. Enough 
think the front one is really good. The back one, I had to go like in between the two drip tubes. And so it might not be as good. I didn't even ask you if you wanted to do the auger. This tends to be what mom and I do is I do the auger and she does all the dirt work. So I just kind of started doing that. You just want the can to see. Do you want the whole plant to just when I can? Maybe if you smush them really good. What? I think it's two plants. It looks bigger than a lot of the other ones. Hopefully he'll grow in really good. And he's got water on either side of him. I planted a whole bunch of cosmos right there that I started from seed and they just did not do well. They all died. That's why it had that little drip tube going all around the cosmos. It kept wilting really bad. Ta-da! All right, y'all. Hopefully these will grow in between the uh, the oak leaf and the butterfly bush and kind of fill in as kind of a ground cover next to the cat mint. And the ones up front will be more of a front border. So we'll see, we'll keep you updated, especially next spring when they start to grow in. But we are gonna go get cleaned up so we can go get our nails done. Are you excited, Rachel? Exactly. Bye, y'all.